everybody, Matt Morris here. Welcome to the Unemployed Millionaire Show. Today, I want to kind of give you some advice on how to get the best coaching from your mentor. Uh, this is a person who you have direct contact with. Now, you know, my organization, for instance, uh, you know, over 200,000 people have joined in uh, less than five years. Last week, we actually had uh, over 5,000 people join my team in one week. So obviously, I don't have the ability to work with everyone. And you know that's part of the reason why I do these videos is to help my organization, people in you know a ton of other network marketing companies plug into this. And so I'm kind of like a foster mentor, as uh, my friend Brian Carruthers would say. But um, here's how you get the best coaching from someone who you know can take your call, you can you know work with directly. Number one, I'm going to give you four keys. Number one is no excuses. See, if you want your mentor to work with you, you cannot give excuses. If someone's working with me and they're giving me excuses on why they can't go to trainings or why they can't be successful, I, I'm just, it's fine. I'm just not going to coach them. Um, so number one, no excuses. Number two, no opinions. See, if your mentor is telling you, here's how you need to go do things, um, there's a reason why they're your mentor. There's a reason why they're successful is they have a system that works. And so your responsibility is not to say, hey, here's how I think you should do it. And you try and give them advice. No, it's you uh, taking advice from them because you want to be where they're at. Now, I'm telling you all this because this is exactly how I was with my mentor. And he was an amazing mentor to me because I was amazingly coachable because I had no excuses, no opinions. And then number three is do exactly what they say. If they recommend you read a book, you immediately that day, you go get that book, you read it and you let them know you read it. See, they're going to be way more likely to continue to coach you, want to coach you if you're doing exactly what they say and you're not waiting to do it. You know, all the time it happens where people will come to me and I'll say, you know what, you need to go read what to say when you talk to yourself. And you know, a month goes by, they've called me two or three more times about some other you know, topic, and I say, hey, have you read that book? And the answer is no. And if they haven't read the book, I'm just not gonna coach them anymore because they're not coachable. So do exactly what they say. If they even recommend a book, this is how I was. I wanted my mentor to see exactly how coachable I was with him. So if he was on stage and he just mentioned a book, I would go buy the book, read it, and then let him know what I got out of the book because I would proactively let him know, man, I am the ultimate coachable you know, representative in your group. And because I wanted more of his time and the way to get more of their time is to do what they say. So number four is be easy to coach. Be easy to coach. You've got to eliminate the word but from your vocabulary. So if they're telling you to do something, if you use the word but, don't expect them to continue to coach you. Uh, don't be defensive. You know, if they're telling you something about your personality um, that maybe you need to work on, you, don't be defensive. Don't try and make excuses for yourself. Rule number one, no excuses. Um, eliminate the word try. You know, they tell you to do something. You don't say, I'm going to go try to do it. See, people like mentors, they like to coach people who are doers not who are triers, so don't be a try baby. Um, be very coachable, do what they say to do. I've had people in my group, for instance, you know, young guys, for instance, I've said, man, you need, to, you need to shave, you need to dress nicer, you're not gonna attract any other leaders when you look like a slob. And they say, you know, well, it's, it's who I am. Who you are is not your clothes. Be coachable. Do what your mentor says if you want them to coach you. You know, it's great to be who you are, but you'll be broke forever. So um, just follow the advice of your coach. There's a reason why they are successful. So hope this added value. Hopefully I didn't ruffle your feathers too much. If you feel like this might add some value for some other people, definitely share it around. Make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and hop over to mattmorris.com and subscribe to my newsletter there. If you haven't already, love to hear your comments below, even if you think I'm a jerk totally fine and as always make life an adventure